to find the molar extinction coefficient for a compound in solution we use a spectrophotometer to measure the absorbances of the compound at many different concentrations. We use a single wavelength of light, lambda max, the wavelength which is absorbed best by the compound, so it gives us the most sensitive values of absorbance, allowing the detection of even the lowest concentrations. To work out extinction coefficient, we rearrange the Beer-Lambert law to make the extinction coefficient the subject. We move time CL to the other side, past the equals sign, so we inverse the function to divide. As the cuvette has a width of 1 cm, we can ignore path length. Now we can plug in any corresponding values from the graph into our new equation to find the molar extinction coefficient at lambda max. The extinction coefficient is the gradient of the line relating concentration to absorbance at a certain wavelength, in this case lambda max. The better the compound is at absorbing light, the steeper the line will be and the higher the extinction coefficient.